YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video for you guys about an alternative to your regular stock calendar app that comes on your phone. Um, they can be boring, a lot of them don't have like a lot of different features, um, mostly they're just kind of ugly and for some reason the one that comes with the S3 is like brown and just really ugly. So I did not like it at all. So I went out looking for different apps that would give me what I want. Um, but also look very nice, and I found one. The one that I found is called Soul Calendar, and I absolutely love it. Like, they're doing so much to expand um, this app, and it's just a really, really great one. It offers a clean and sleek look. It allows you to sync your accounts. Um, if you go to download it on the Google Play Store, it'll tell you exactly what you're allowed to sync, but it syncs Google Calendar, Yahoo, a lot of different things which is really nice. It offers stickers and weather. You have the option to turn on the weather, which will be presented like up here if you wanted to do that and your um, calendar will be pushed down a little bit. Um, it also has agenda and to-do list, which is so great. And then that has really cool widgets, which let me show you. Oh my gosh, I just went back into, I haven't changed my online launcher yet. Okay. Here's one widget. They have so many options, but this is the one that I had chose to put it's not focusing. This is the one I had chose to put before. There we go. <laughs> My awesome focusing um, trick there. But yeah, I just think it's so great. Like, it's so cool to just have a big calendar there. But let's go back in, and I'll just kind of walk through it for you quickly. I mean, it doesn't really, doesn't have a whole bunch of bells and whistles, but it has everything that you would want in an app. So let's go ahead and go here. I'm doing it through my camera or my phone, other phone, so it's really weird. So it offers month, agenda, to do, and calendars. So if you click that, this will be my agenda, everything that I'm going to need to be doing. To do, I don't have any to dos yet. And calendars, this will like be what will be added in there. It syncs my accounts. And then also um, my calendar, the U.S. holiday since I am in the U.S. and soul calendar. So let's go back to month. And you can see it was my daughter's. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus. That is the stupidest thing ever, I know. And this time it didn't even work, which I feel bad about. This video was just not very good. But there we go. You can see I have a little birthday cake sticker. I know a lot of them out there offer that, so it's not that big of a deal, but I just think it's cute. Okay, here's the settings that you can go in to do. You can show week number, first day of the week, which I put as Monday. Um, it's my local default. My time zone, so it tells me the time and everything, and those when to switch um, day. And then my display calendars, you can click that, and it tells you what we just saw. Then we also have, you know, you can add an account, synced accounts, add holidays by country, Google calendars to sync, edit to do color, which I have mine as pink right now, even though I don't have any to do's, but of course it had to be pink. You can display to do's in calendar, display competed to, completed to do's, and then Google ta task sync. I'm sorry, I cannot talk today. Disable notifications, pop-up notifications, reminder settings, save your calendar so you can save it um, into backup and import calendar data. And then this is where you can also turn on the weather. Um, I didn't do it because I don't have my location on all the time because it sucks my battery down. So you do have to have location on if you're going to do that, but it is really cool. It'll just have it. I'll just turn it on for the sake of this video. You won't be able to actually see... Um, the weather, but you'll see what it what it looks like. See, if I click that, it, this would be where the weather would be. It's saying it cannot um, find my GPS connection right now, but that's where it would be. So then you would exit. You'd go back to your calendar. If you hit this again, it'll tell you the weather. Um, I already have a weather app, so I really don't need that, but it is a cool feature to have. So, yeah. Oh, also, oh my gosh, I forgot my favorite part which is stickers, and it keeps going out of focus. This is so annoying. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get a camera. Okay, let's just add a new event. This is where all the stickers will be. 
So you'd add your event, and right up here it says sticker, press it. No, of course I didn't even press it right. There we go. Okay. They have so many stickers. They have simple, which I love these, these simple ones. Look at how cute those are. They're just little simple ones. And then the mark ones I also like because you can kind of like mark, like if you're going through counting days down, you can mark every day with like uh, um, X, which is really cool. Basic, which is just regular. Event, a whole bunch of events. Emotions. Life. Food. Sports. School. And work. So, and these were all free. I think two of them up here, Simple and Mark, I think I had to download, but they were free. And they just downloaded right there in the app. So, just show you what it looks like um, when it's done. See? Just a little X right there. And it says no title because I didn't put a title. But I just think that's so cool. Look at how cool it looks. So, yeah. I hope you like this video. It was kind of wonky and blurry half the time. I'm so sorry for that, but I hope I gave you enough information on the app. Like I said, the app is free on the Play Store, so go ahead and check it out. I hope you guys like it. Um, I think that's everything. I'm going to be trying to make another video that was requested later this week for one of my um, subscribers, and then I also want to probably make like one more just of a simple app review that I would have or an app that I want to mention to you guys um, after I try it out a little longer. So, yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope you um, subscribe to my channel. I hope you, I don't know, comment so that I can comment back. And, yeah, I'm just going to stop rambling. Bye, YouTube.